Uh, of course, Matt Gorley, uh, also with us. Good to see you, Matt. Hi, guys. You were having some issue. It took us a while to connect with you because you're having some issue at your house. What's going on at your house? Well, maybe you can hear some ambient noise like uh, birds chirping and dogs barking because all my windows in my office are open because something died in the walls of our house. Ugh. And it's a problem that when you have it, you can't really do anything about it, but just wait it out unless you want to rip your walls apart. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's back this yeah. up just a little bit. What do you yeah. think died in your wall? Oh, my cousin. <laughs> Who was last seen saying, your cousin whose last last time you talked to him, which was six weeks ago, was, I'm going to go look inside your wall. <laughs> I'm not feeling great. Some heart palpitations, uh, but still, I'm going to go look inside your wall. And then you haven't seen him since. And now you smell something died in the wall. Yeah, it is awful here. I hope it's only a mouse or a rat. I hope it's not something bigger, like a, uh, God forbid, like a raccoon or something. Is that because, uh, let me understand, is that because you think a raccoon has more of a enlightened spirit? Than a mouse, or you're telling you just about the size and the and they're the cuter, but yeah, the size because oh, you're only worried about for... the size. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, all right, less decay time. So you don't get as sad when like a a skinny guy dies, but when a fat guy dies, you really <laughs> bum out. Wow. So you let the smell out, and then the carcass just stays in your walls. You have to let it dry out and basically mummify, oh. or else it's ripped the walls apart. I don't know what else to do. Well, excuse me. Do they have any way of detecting? You'd think in this modern era there'd be some kind of device. You know the way that does that thing you can buy literally for six dollars at the hardware store that helps you find where the stud is. Stud finder. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my wife had a good stud finder. I'll tell you oh, that one right now. Come on. No, no. All she right. was finding where the stud was in the wall. I wasn't oh. talking about yeah. Okay. okay. No, no. I why did why what made you think I was talking about anything else? Anyway, my wife was just pretty clear when she met me, she found her stud, right? <laughs> <laughs> because I was holding a stud finder that I got at the hardware store. <laughs> I don't know why this is confusing, but isn't there some kind of device, Matt, that would tell you the source of these noxious gases? Not that I'm aware of. I even like brought my cat into the office to see if she would kind of just smell in a certain spot, but she couldn't care less. It doesn't even seem to notice it. It's horrible. Well, cats are uh, dispense death all the time. We have cats and all they do is you know, kill things and try and bring it into the house. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And uh, yeah. it's, I mean, large dogs. And it's terrible. <laughs> no, they just like birds and what it's just, it's, or if they find something that's dead, they bring it into the house. Yeah. So why would they care about the smell well, of the Well, I day? would think she would just, because our cat is food obsessed. She's just single-minded. I'm telling you more than anything I've ever seen in any creature on earth before she's obsessed. She will eat a full bowl of food that's the size of a basketball and won't stop until she vomits. Have you ever found uh, your cat ordering stuff on Grubhub? <laughs> <laughs> like a car pulls up and they're like, is there a, is there a Mr. Chips uh, here? <laughs> what's your cat? What's your cat's name? It's Margot. Yeah. She has learned to open our cabinet trash. Like, you know, the kind that are flush with the kitchen cabinets, she can open it. I swear she's what? evolving thumbs. We had to put a childproof lock on our goddamn cabinets because of this cat. Oh my our God. Our dog, our, we have yeah. two golden retrievers and the younger one, Loki, has figured out how to order pornography. <laughs> uh, what kind of pornography is Loki into? It's all Shih Tzu. Very soft core. <laughs> And apparently Loki wants there to be some story. So- um, <laughs> A plot-driven porn. Yeah, he wants it yeah. plot-driven porn. And, and film, not video. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Hates video. Hates video yeah. and hates- There's got to be a, a decent story there. And so uh, I've sometimes even watched- uh, There have been times where we Loki speeds through the sex. You know, like I, his paw just goes and hits the fast forward and we speed through it. What's just because point? it's the, cause the plot is more w what- Loki's into. So, um, I mean, sometimes we watch the sex if it's just, you know, whatever. We? If it's, well, I sit and watch, you know, I can't let the dog watch TV alone, you know? And so I, cause God knows, you know, what if, what if uh, pay-per-view and the next thing you know, well, we owe a lot of money. So no, I have to be there with Loki when we watch the soft core pornography. Is it dog porn or? or oh God, no, porn? no. Who wants to watch oh. dogs do it? Okay. No. Right. And, and dogs, I mean, they have no, there's no erotic thrill for any, a dog will hump a desk. A dog will hump a fire yeah. hydrant. A dog will hump anything. So that would be the level of their porn. No, he likes, bo Loki likes bodice rippers, you know, likes uh, <laughs> anything that's, he likes costumes. He likes there to be a plot. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah. 
It's uh, and then I I watch with them, but it's they're good stories. They tell really good stories. We watch Red Shoe Diaries, some of the old Showtime stuff. <laughs> oh my um, God, what the fuck? It's true, but only the one dog. The other dog's not into this. Oh my God! Oh no no Bosco, who's the older one, hates oh, pornography. Yeah. Just hates pornography. Oh. Absolutely hates it. Loves musicals, the MGM musicals, the really good ones. <laughs> Loves uh, Singing in the Rain, just all those great MGM musicals. But um, so we don't watch TV together. We watch. Have to have to watch it separately. Oh. Okay, we have such a good show to get to today. And <laughs> listen, another quick thing. If your dog is hooked on porn, uh, you can contact this toll-free number that will not be at the uh, end of this podcast. It won't exist because I'm. That's not doesn't exist. But anyway, if your dog <laughs> has a real problem with uh, pornography, uh, you can get help if you listen for the number that doesn't exist that's at the end of this podcast. 